Hi everyone, this is Sylvia. I wanted to uh, take a few minutes and share something I've been working on uh, that's finally done. Looks like it's got a glare, but this was the only place I had to hang it to uh, show it because it is rather large. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so you can see. It is about two feet tall. It is a uh, grandfather clock and I did it in um, the steampunk fashion again. I used the uh, steampunk debutante paper, um, some acrylic paint, and uh, some stickles, and that's really about it. Um, there's some uh, little wood embellishments that I got from um, the leaky shed, and then uh, some be scraps metals and so let you look at it and I'll do a close-up so you can see uh, exclusive glare I put that uh, wooden piece there that I got from Lowe's I believe and added that and then I added uh, these wooden pieces here because um, it had some plastic ugly things um, anyway there's some chipboard pieces inside the glass um, the round part of the of the clock is uh, popped out and I forget what this little guy's name is, but I really liked him. I wanted him to be right the center there. Um, that's another chipboard piece. This is all um, Leaky Shed Studio. This one and this one. This is all just paper. Um, These, I don't remember where I got them. These two are leftover Crafty Emblies pieces that I wanted to use up. Uh, these are Butterbee Scraps. Uh, and that's Butterbee Scraps there, all that. These are all chipboard pieces. Um, I believe that one is called the Craftsman, and I don't remember what who makes that one, but it's Craft, craftsman collection. This is all um, paper from the steampunk debutante. There is uh, watch parts here, another uh, piece of wood there, watch pieces, another chipboard piece. Butterbee scraps, butterbee scraps, butterbee scraps. Uh, these two here, this one, the praying mantis and the dragonfly are Licky Shed Studio. Um, I love the crow with his crown there. Beautiful steampunk uh, Victorian lady there. Then down here, um, I really did like four layers of, of uh, 3D effect. I didn't realize till after I got it all put together that I put the two balloons, one right in front of the other, but I just left it. I may change it later on, I don't know. Um, there's gears down in here flowers from the paper that I just stickled, um, gears, there's a wooden butterfly uh, from the leaky shed and another paper butterfly on top of it. Um, the lady here came out really nice, I wish I could get it. Uh, she's real dimensional, I left her um, picture underneath and I, I uh, expanded her up twice so uh, in person she really looks 
really looks three-dimensional. She really looks real, like she's coming out of the paper. Um, another clock piece. That's chipboard, and this one's chipboard. And there's another uh, lady down um, behind the Behind the light bulb, there's another another lady, but you can't see her because of the shadows. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. I'm very proud of it. I think it came out really neat. It, um, again, was, you know, not a whole lot um, of different collections to it or anything, uh, but it did take quite a bit of time. There's, like I said, there's several different layers to that. Um, and then I I rub and buffed it with some gold at the very end, so it's got rub and buff all over it. I even, let me see if I can do this without making you anybody sick, but on the sides here, I added the paper all along the side, up on the top, on both of them and along the bottom so it was a labor of love but um, I really like it so uh, I just wanted to share thank y'all for watching um, appreciate you bye